Good morning, and it is a beautiful morning here at Boston Elementary School. If you'd all please rise. As always, we'll start with our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You all may be seated. We do have some birthdays to celebrate today. Happy birthday, Leon and Mrs. Sullivan, our school nurse. I hope you both have a very special day. Here's your song. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. Hey. I hope you all have a very special birthday. It is Wednesday, June 10th, and it is the last Wednesday of this school year. We're very quickly approaching the end of, of all this. I wanted to thank everyone who's been who's been tuning in to watch me on a regular basis. Yes, that means you too, Mom. Thank you for watching me. Um, you know, we've tried to maintain as much normalcy as we can in these uh, strange times. I've, again, you know, I've said it before, but it bears repeating. I am absolutely blown away by the things that I'm seeing. Um, the teachers are sharing, the kids are doing, the pictures that parents are sending to me. You guys have really done an amazing job of making the most out of a pretty difficult situation. That's going to do it for our announcements today. But we will, as always, end with the Bobcat Bees, and we do have some more fifth graders to recognize at the end, so hang on for that. Everyone have a wonderful day. Be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. Hi, this is Mrs. Bruss with a message for Jordan. Jordan, I have loved working with you for the past two years in flute lessons and in band. I am so proud of the progress that you have made over two years. Starting out, it was difficult, but you made it through. You have a really strong work ethic and you practice and you give it your all. And I'm so thankful that I got to know you and I wish you all of the best to have a wonderful summer and a fabulous time at Tejanto. Hello again, BES. I am here today to talk about another one of my previous fourth graders. Um, I feel like we spent most of fourth grade trying to come up with a nickname for this young lady. Um, you see, we had two Olivias in our room and I don't know, I just, I always seem to come up with nicknames for my students, but I couldn't seem to find one that Olivia Quam was okay with. Um, we did OQ, we did um, O squared, I think. Um, I tried just calling her Quam. Anyways, we went back and forth all year. Um, and of course, had, had a lot of fun with it. Um, Olivia. If there's one thing I need you to remember, that is, you have to go to college in order to be a lawyer. One day we were um, chit-chatting. It might, it was pretty informal. Um, I don't know if it was snack time or if we had done a lunch bunch or something, but I was talking to a few of the kids about what they wanted to be when they grow up. And Olivia right away emphatically said, I'm gonna be a lawyer, but I'm not going to college. So I had a good laugh at that um, because, you know, obviously that's kind of impossible. So that was just a little, a little joke we had going on throughout the year in fourth grade. Um, Olivia, you are a really special young lady and I know you're gonna do amazing things and I know you're gonna do great at Tejanto and in college when you get there. And I hope someday that you are a magnificent lawyer but if you happen to change your mind and you decide to do something else, you will do that just as amazingly as ever because you are just a really driven young lady and I am certain you will make a whole lot of yourself. Um, so best of luck at Tejanto and feel free to keep in touch. Hi Riley. 
I just wanted to say thank you so much for being an amazing bus helper this year. We go way back, all the way to kindergarten. It's been amazing watching you grow up into the mature, responsible young lady that you are today. I wish you all the best of luck at Tejanto, and I'm going to miss you. Please come and visit. Take care.